pathetic old man sitting in easy chair. Light bulb in faith. <laughs> this third day with the bard. Um, I, I'm getting close to uh, dementia, so I'll probably quit one of these days. But not today. Anyway. Sir David Bard, I'm coming to you from the uh, homeless shelter down here in uh, Salt Lake City. I just flew in, and um, the Salt Lake City mayor is thinking, along with some other people, of moving the homeless shelter. Now, it's been there, I don't know. A hundred years, I don't know. Now, here's what I do know, okay? It's across the street from what they call Pioneer Park. So... When the sun rises, all of the homeless shelter guys go out into um, Pioneer Park and lay on the benches, lay on the ground, <laughs> Velcro themselves to the trees. <laughs> you couldn't go in there with a child <laughs> if you had an army of guards. It is dangerous. It is hostile. It is drug infested. Uh, they sleep on the grass uh, with a bottle of alcohol for a pillow. <laughs> There's every disease known to man in that part. Police cars, <laughs> they all eat their donuts over there because they know they're going over anyway. High, high crime area. Oh my God. Now, I know this because I've seen it with my eyes <laughs> and my ears. I used to be a security guard, not for very long, but for a while. And down the road from the homeless shelter is Burger King. And I used to work at Burger King. Now, if you know that a um, hamburger place needs a guard on duty all the time that they're open, that's not a place I'd buy a burger with my kids. <laughs> it's right across the street from the library. And we had more people taking showers in the toilet and the sink shaving and um, cleansing themselves and I would have to go in the bathroom and say uh, gentlemen you cannot shave in here and you cannot uh, take uh, a shower I never ran a guy out of there for having to go to the bathroom I just thought that was below me I just couldn't do it I was supposed to but I didn't well then out front we had a little um, uh, brick wall. And the guys used to sit on the wall. And the manager would come to me and say, Bard, Bard, get him off the wall. I'd go, okay. So I'd go out there with a hot dog on a stick and run by and they'd, they'd all come running to get the hot dog. Well, we were across the street from uh, the library. By God, they sat out in front of the library on the grass and on the lawn. And uh, it, it's just a mess. It's a mess. Um, Catholic uh, Community Services is in the area for food and uh, there are other kinds of uh, Social Security and other agencies, mental health agencies uh, trying to help these uh, people out. Now here's, here's what I just had to do this video because my six angel girls, the little naked ones, over 18, over 18, I have the little white wings on and I asked them this time turn around very quickly. <laughs> Speed! Bullet around! <laughs> we want to miss anything in the front to see if they had tails, if they were demons. And my uh, comment uh, about them being uh, devils or angels, uh, they have no tail. Uh, but I asked for a little tail myself. Anyway, <laughs> the six beautiful little angel girls came to me and gave me revelation. I was... Uh, reading the Bible and it said if any of you have never seen a naked angel ask here and God giveth liberally and I said I'll take it liberally or conservatively I don't care have them show up and give me some revelation so the girls showed up and they said Bard Bard <laughs> I like it when they call me Bard Bard I said listen that homeless shelter do you know why they're moving it and I go well it's kind of an eyesore in the middle of the city and Pioneer Park can't be used for a park and uh, Burger King and the rest of the uh, businesses in the area have to have you know bars on the windows and <laughs> machine guns at the door I don't know and they said well have you ever thought of this 
The Mormon Church poured in millions and billions of dollars just down the street for the uh, condos, million dollar condos that they couldn't sell. And the reason they couldn't sell them is the old people would come and look at the condos and then drive around the community and go, holy shit, I ain't paying a million dollars to live across the street from the homeless shelter. Well, the Mormon church dropped its prices even before the condos were built by 50%. That's a pretty steep <laughs> discount. Many of the apartments and uh, condos have still not been sold. And the Mormon church is just eating it up, eating it up with a loss. Because uh, even the old Mormons who can look out and see the temple can look out and see the homeless shelter too. I said two years ago that was going nowhere because of the bars on the windows close to the uh, City Creek Mall, the empty buildings, the homeless people wandering and trying to get, you know, handouts and and free food and, uh, you know, razzle-dazzle, stealing crap out of people's cars. Nobody wants to live downtown Salt Lake. It, it's a miserable place. It's miserable. Parking is miserable. The, the uh, tracks transit is everywhere. And um, it's just not a place people want to be, especially at night. So to pay a million dollars for a condo and then have the homeless people beating on the door even the Mormons are that stupid. They can't sell them. So they said, I'll tell you what, let's move the shelter. <laughs> It'll improve the neighbor. Maybe we can sell them. Money. Mormons just smell that money and they go, how with those homeless people? Put them out in the desert. And people are saying, well, are there facilities for these people in another location? Put them out in the desert. <laughs> you got to ride a bus three hours into Salt Lake City and uh, they're not allowed to sleep on the lawn anymore and oh my god it goes on and on and on so here you have the underprivileged and the poor uh, the mentally uh, disabled and physically disabled um, they're going to move their house and um, all of the services and the facilities ooh, excuse me that are set up right there for the homeless the mayor don't give a shit. None of them give a shit. They go, put them out in the desert. <laughs> Send them an extra ten bucks for the bus fare coming in. We don't have to have them here in the city. And the Mormon church called us and said, get that piece of shit out of town. We've got to sell these condos. We're going to the poorhouse. So anyway, they may be fooling a lot of people thinking that they want to uh, improve their uh, homeless shelter situation. They don't want to improve it. They want to get the eyesore out of the neighborhood, be able to use the park again, and businesses won't have to have guards at a hamburger place. <laughs> and the Mormon temple and the tourists won't drive by and go, holy shit, what are the Mormons doing for these people? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Catholic Community Services does provide them uh, lunches and food and and services. The Mormon Church. It ain't a church. It's a corporation. And uh, they don't do crap for those homeless people. I go by there many times when I'm there in Salt Lake City. And um, like I said, the police cars, they just put in a new police station next to the homeless shelter. <laughs> we don't want to go that far. We're just going to walk across the street. And by the way, you can buy a million dollar condo that the Mormon Church is going to take your money again and put you in a ghetto. So anyway, health in the navel, marrow on the bones, strength in the loins and in the sinews. Power and the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. Pay me, lay me, and ail me. And, oh God, hear the words of my mouth and please watch my videos. And, don't slit my throat, don't tear my heart out, <laughs> don't cut me open, and don't make me live <laughs> across the street for a million dollar condo and look out the window and see the homeless shelter. <sighs> this bar's gone. <laughs>